a government report found one of the easiest ways to turn dirty money into a legitimate asset is to buy a house. Incredibly grand stairways. Oliver Bulla worked as a journalist in Russia and now writes books on financial crimes. He showed us around to explain how the laundromat works. This is the neighborhood of choice for the Russian oligarchs. This is Belgravia. These neighborhoods around Eaton Square are some of the most expensive on earth. Once the exclusive preserve of dukes and barons, now... There is this nickname for Eaton Square, it's called Red Square, um, because there's so many Russians. I mean, it's a slightly ironic nickname because obviously Red Square is, you know, tends to be associated with communism. The anti-corruption group Transparency International estimates Russian oligarchs with links to the Kremlin own at least $2 billion worth of property in London. So if an oligarch were to buy in here, he could clean his money and his reputation? Yeah, if, if you're the kind of person who can own a house on Eaton Square, you're slipping in, seamlessly slipping into a tradition of aristocracy, of nobility. It's powerful. It's powerful, right? You are a... a Someone who has stolen a company in Russia. You are only rich because you're friends with Vladimir Putin. But look, look what you've got. Look where you are. This is London's core industry. This is what we do. Transforming thugs into aristocrats 24 hours a day. Oligarch care in London is worth an estimated $350 million a year. Real estate agents, tax advisors, bankers have become rich serving them. High-powered lawyers deploy the British legal system to protect them. All the while, Bulla told us, most British politicians turned a blind eye. There was a general feeling that if the money was coming here and paying taxes, that was building schools and building roads and building hospitals, and we didn't care where it came from. But it seems extraordinary now, looking back, that the murder of Alexander Litvinenko in 2006 did not occasion a national conversation, at least, about what we were doing. A former KGB spy, Alexander Litvinenko, was working with British police to expose the Russian mafia when Kremlin assassins put a radioactive toxin in his teacup. In 2018, Russian double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter survived an attack with a Soviet-era nerve agent on British soil. Still, Bola told us, the laundromat churned on. Only now, with Russian missiles raining death on Ukraine, is Britain seriously questioning the money oligarchs have been showering down on them for years. It was pretty obvious what Russia was like by 2018. And yet it was still, you find prime ministers saying, it's time we finally got rid of the dirty money in this country. So well, it's time now? How was it not time, you know, a decade previously? We have become very dependent, certainly in London, on the fees that this money generates. 